Hello friends, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. Today we are starting the series of HRST, Human Resource Service Delivery. This is uh, quite important and people were asking about it, complete series. So here it is, the complete series for HRST. We will break down the whole series into small, small videos and I will try to explain you each and everything. Okay, I am very much excited to start this series. Uh, so for the time being, in this video, we just understand what is the need of HRST. Why HRST is important and what it is doing uh, for all organizations. So let me share my screen. So here on the screen, you see two things, HR and employees. So both of these departments or both of these people have their own job functions. Let's say I'm a Java developer, I'm an employee. So my work is to work on my project, which is based on Java. So I must be good on my technology. I must, uh, you know, interact with my colleagues. I must interact with my manager, understand the requirement and deliver it. But apart from my job functions, there are various other things which I need to take care and I have to spend time. Like if I need something or if I need some device, like if I need certain, you know, compensations, if I need certain... Uh, uh, permissions if i want to understand about some benefits which my company is giving let's say insurance right i am not an insurance expert so i must need someone who can derive my request and provide input provide output as soon as possible so for that i will look up and i will see who is there to help me and most of the time it is hr so this HR department is taking care of all such requests this is a very big one like insurance but Small, small things are there which these HR people are solving. This is their job function. But if you see, this HR team is very much, you know, under pressure. Uh, they are doing all things manually. And most of the time, you see, they are just doing all the administrative works. They are doing all the paperwork, everything manually. There is no process. Even there are other departments like IT department, uh, finance department, these HRs are interacting, coordinating with all these people for our queries. But at the end, the employees are not very much satisfied because the HR were under tremendous pressure. They are not able to provide much value. So these are the expectations. Okay, employee, boss, everyone should be happy. The company uh, should be getting benefited by my work as well as by HR. But this is the real case. As I already told you, this is HR who is always under pressure, who is always doing these things. They are calling you. They are uh, arranging the documents. Lacks and lacks of documents are there. Everything is there, okay? And this is my employee. <laughs> and this is employee. You see the employee, apart from their work, they are busy in interacting with various departments, all and all and all, okay? You can consider yourself in your company. Most of the time, this is the same case. The HR is doing these repetitive tasks. It is highly time-consuming. The processes are so complex and therefore we have less productivity. The employee satisfaction is also dropping. Okay. They are not getting what they want. They are not getting their queries resolved from all the departments because everything is, you know, clumsy. Everything is very much complex. Even the small request of 30 minutes are getting more than two days to get completed. So now what to do in this scenario? Service now has understood all these problems. The problem of employees, the problem of HR, and finally their integration problem. So for that, ServiceNow has, uh, you know, introduced this HRST module, Human Resource Service Delivery. It is based on automation. It is based on integration. It is based on the industrial standard, which it is providing to all the companies. You see here, the HR and employee integration is taken care. ServiceNow HRST is simplifying the processes. ServiceNow HRST providing a straightforward way, a convenient way to resolve the queries as soon as possible. In HRST, we have the way to automate the thing so that the work can be completed without the intervention of HR, like for repetitive tasks. So you see, keeping all these things in mind, ServiceNow HRST is comprises of various applications. These applications are pointing towards special problem, towards special processes, which are there in complete human resource or you can say HR system. Like this, Employee Center. This is the application which provides a single and unified portal for service delivery across the enterprise. 
So by using employee center service delivery is very easy. The employee can go to this service portal, this employee center portal, and you know select the services and request the services. All kind of services are there with respect to every department like HR, IT, okay, admin. All such portal is there. All such categories are there which directly can be used. Then we have now assist. We are using generative AI to provide automated responses based on the models, based on the our past history, based on various new technologies. Like this, we have employee journey management, issue auto resolution. Okay, all these are AI based things. And one of the most important thing is case and knowledge management. This case management, you can say, this is the main application of HRST. It involves the case creation for HRs and resolution of such cases on time and doing all such kind of automation and everything. You can see it is the standardized documentation, interaction and fulfillment of employee request. This is the core thing, okay? And we will more focus on this because once you understand case management, it will be very easy for you to like get command over HRST. Then we have HR agent workspace. This application provides an easy way for HRs to tackle the request, to take care of the request of employees. Then we have performance analytics by which uh, uh, managers or higher management can easily track uh, the KPIs and get the reports and everything so that they can take crucial decisions based on how we are interacting with employees, what is the problems of the employees and all and all. And finally, various other applications are there. We will do. We will deep dive into these applications one by one. We start with the basics of HRST and then we go in the deep in each and every application. So this is it for today's video. Today we understand what is the need of HRST. In next video, we will start with HRST and try to activate it. But all plugins are needed. We go in deep and understand and install it. Okay. So I hope this is it. If you have any question, let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.